Grandma, Grandma, I miss you. Grandpa, Grandpa, can you please tell me a story? Of course I can. I missed you. What kind of story do you want to hear from Waipo today? Can you tell me a story about when you were younger? I like those. I like your college stories. They're always so fun. I can't wait to go to college so I don't have to live with mommy anymore. Do you, do you really, really want to hear, hear another, another college, college story? story? Please. Please. Hmm. Okay, fine. How about, have I ever told you the story of me and the vegan cheese incident? But not the vegan cheese story, Grandpa. You already told us that one. I did. Hmm. Aw, oh, darn. That was one of my favorite stories. Hmm. How about this? Have, Have I, I ever, ever told, told you the story, story about, about Sophia? Sophia? Hi, welcome to Share Chama Cup to Greece. This place is always crowded with people. They need to make another one closer to campus. Oh my god, stop being such a whiny baby, okay? The longer the line, the more time you guys spend with me. Besides, I've been in Singapore since fall. Didn't you miss me? <laughs> okay, I did, but you got to spend half of your last year at UCI in Singapore. Well, I'm stuck back home with research, classes, and work. And whose fault is that? I know, okay? I'm I didn't turn in my papers earlier, but I'm still sad. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think you're leaving out something? Like, what? Uh, Kevin Yuen, your hot hunk of a boyfriend? Oh my god, stop. What? Come on, Ames. If I had that beautiful man resembling Adonis, I would not mind missing out in Singapore. Actually, there's been some trouble between the two of us. Wait, what did he do? Oh my god, did he cheer on you with that one girl from SJ? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I will throw hands. You know where he lives? Do you know he can get a box of bees to live to some of his doorsteps? Though, he might be allergic to bees, but I do know he can no, live no, on him. he's fine. He's nice. He's just sort of, sort of basic. I just, if I looked around, I could find so many more Kevin Newins out there. Literally or figuratively? Definitely literally. Three of his Ray friends are also called Kevin Newin. Do they call themselves the four Kevcos? Uh, I don't get it. Like, the drink for a loco? Okay, that name's a crime, and just for that, you need to dump him. But honestly, how long have you been feeling this way? Well, uh, since this past winter. He spent a lot of time over my place, and we didn't really do much except cuddle and watch Netflix. I don't know, I just feel like we could be doing so much more. Hi, welcome to Share Chama Mama Cup to Greece. Would you like to try our new horchata milk tea? Um, I'm okay. Can I just get a regular oolong milk tea with no toppings? Yes, I would love to try the new horchata milk tea, please. That drink was not the best idea for a boba store. <laughs> Harley, did you hear me? Ames, look at that girl. She's so sexy and edgy. Oh my- Hey, are you looking, Ames? Ames? I'm not into girls like that. Uh, just because you're not into girls doesn't mean you can't hear about the fact that sounds attractive. I mean, I'm not to you, but I think you're pretty. Okay, I get your point, but how can you tell? I had seen her earlier. Really? I don't see Oh, come here. Hey, if you wanted a better view, you could've just come over. Uh, uh, my friend, he just... Uh, he said you are cute and I just wanted to see. Oh, this is sweet. I know it's attractive, but I didn't think I was a drop-dead gorgeous kind. Mm, you're not unattractive. <laughs> oh my Aww. god, Ames. You're ridiculous. Okay, first of all, her name's Amy, and I'm Charlie. Oh, okay. Amy thinks you're a heaven on earth that every man should just kiss the floor you step on. Charlie! In order uh, for Sophia? Oh, um, I gotta go. Uh, here's my... here's my number. If a friend here decides to say more than uh, uh, I, tell her to hit me up. I'll see you cuties later. Bye! Huh, my name's Sophia. I can't believe that just happened. Boyfriend. Okay, well, it's not like she gave you the number. She gave it to me. What do you want it? Okay, but she's, she's really pretty. Let me think about it. Nope. Can I see the number? Uh, I'm not letting you see the number. Um, just, I just want to still give me the number. <laughs> no, yeah, she's not I getting it. I just want to see if we have the same area code. In order for Amy and Charlie? <laughs> Look, our order. Charlie.
Jesus, can you please not next time? Can you put a sock on the door the next time we partake in any individual activities in the middle of the day? I'm not partaking in any individual activities. I'm working on a film project. Somehow, film and festivities actually make it sound so much worse. No, seriously, this is an actual film project. Dude, you're a business eco major. Why are you working on the Hey, hey, no, no street clothes on the bed. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm sure your film is going to be great on browser. Huh, you're so funny. If you like film so much, why didn't you just major in it or minor in it while still studying busy con? I'm just, I'm just trying to be more realistic, you know? I, I really think it's an important thing to be able to express yourself. And I know there's a lot of Asian American representation in media right now. And trust me, I want to be a part of that movement. But media is not going to get me a stable job. However, I know with this econ, it can get me a stable job that can not only provide for me and my future family, but for Ba too. And that's just something media can't give me. That's true. You could definitely find a way more stable job with your busy econ major than with my policy major. What are you talking about? Politics are great. So be for president 2024. The only difference between the two of us, aside from financial stability, is the fact that I actually like what I'm doing. Hey, I like what I'm doing, okay? Busy econ is great. I'm good with numbers. Our data and hard numbers turn me on. Yeah, is that what your film project's about? Just you in front of a, a little laptop with a spreadsheet in front of you? Okay, yeah, just like how you sit in front of your laptop watching Hassan Minaj videos. <laughs> knowing very well he's not going anywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta believe in the Patriots gang. Besides, Hassan is the definition of Asian representation. Besides, he was studying econ before he got into politics. Maybe it should be Terry for president 2024. You can be the definition of representation. Haha, <laughs> very funny, but I think I'd rather take on representation from behind the camera. So you're thinking about doing film? I was speaking rhetorically. Come on, a small part of you is considering it. Okay, maybe. Maybe a small part, but like, maybe if I hadn't already applied for Goldman Sachs, I'd consider doing film. But everything's done. I have my life planned out after I graduate, and it's over. When you're when you're gonna hear back from them? Um, I applied about a month ago, so they should be getting back to me before graduation happens. Do you think you're gonna get in? I hope so. Worked really hard these last four years. I've applied to a, a lot of other firms, but Goldman Sachs is the one I wanted. And if I get this internship, this basically secures me a job. And plus, I think it'd be pretty cool to see New York. Okay. If you do decide to go to New York, can you get me a slice of New York pizza? Really? Pizza? That's all you can think of when I say New York? Yeah. Great word association. Oh, shoot. Oh, Michael's calling me. Oh, Michael? I have to. Yeah, he's my film mentor. I have to meet up with him. I'll see you when I get back. Okay, I'll study at school. I'll see you later. <clears throat> oh I'm so sorry. I wasn't watching where I was going to play. Hey, hey, watch where you're going. Stop thinking about your boyfriend when you're walking in the room. What? I, um... I'm kidding, you're fine. If anything was me, I should have been watching where I was going and I should have given you a heads up. Speaking of giving a heads up and calling people out, were you ever gonna call me back? Oh, uh, I actually have a point. Oh, uh, it's fine. I know you're not into girls like that. Wait, what? How do you know that? Oh, I heard your friends talking about it. Oh, then, I mean, what did you want out of giving me your number? You were just so flustered, I just wanted to play along. And I just wanted to get to know you and Charlie. My brother and I are commuters, so it's really hard to make friends. And I've been on campus for the past two years, and I've only been here for a class, for group projects. Oh, where do you live? I actually live in Westminster, but right now I'm living around on campus just because um, my parents don't want me to spend too much time Oh, oh, I actually live across the street from Shared Chamomo, a good degree. Oh, I mean, and also if you wanted to join, or be more involved, wanted to join like a cultural org or something similar to your major. I am a poli-sci major and none of the clubs look that appealing. Um, what, what clubs are you in? Are you, what's your major? Yeah, um, I'm actually in CA. Oh. <laughs> My boyfriend sort of dragged me along. But I'm also a poli-sci major. Oh, so you joined for your boyfriend? <laughs> I'm, I mean, I didn't join just for him, but he 
you should join. I'd rather just hang out with you. Girls just like I like my honey Sweet little selfish I like my women like I like my money Green little jealous Cause I'm a beautiful wreck A colorful mess but I'm funny Oh, I'm a heartbreak bed with a stone cold neck, yeah, I'm charming. All the pretty girls in the world, but I'm in this space with you. Call it out the lines again. Uh, Terry, that's a lot. Uh, Sophia. Yeah. Well, why are you humming at the dinner table and you're not eating? Give me away. You shouldn't snack before dinner or you won't get hungry. I'm, I'm not snacking, I'm just not hungry. Maybe she's just too busy being in love. Oh. Shut up! Hey, hey, don't say that. Sorry, I'm sorry. Look, I'm eating. Don't How was your day? That was the day, right? With the one girl. Is it Emily? Or Emily? It's, it's Amy. Oh, Amy. It wasn't a date. Uh, you guys are together all the time. Are you even studying? We do sometimes. Well, you're spending that much time together and you're not even studying. Then it's a date. <laughs> well, hmm? well, she's not into girls. Really? Oh, Terry, has your initiative gone back to you yet? I want to know if you can able to buy me the new Tesla. Haha, <laughs> really funny, Bob. I don't think it was kidding. But before we get a Tesla, can we please get a dog to replace mm. Terry? I'm going to be so lonely. Wait, wait, wait. Before you get Sophia a dog, first, I want my Tesla. And I heard the Model S has a new whoopee cushion function. You see that one? Guys, I haven't even got my internship yet, and you're already telling me what to do with life. Mm, Terry, I mean, what would you spend it on? I mean, I could get a new camera or a new stabilizer. I mean, or I could get. Uh, Sophia. How far do you plan on going with your filming hobby? I mean, uh, it's, just, it's just a hobby. Like, huh? I'm not going to go make blockbuster films or anything. Okay? Like, trust me, okay? Trust me. This internship is my biggest priority. Well, if I don't get in, there's so many other places that I apply to, and, okay, yeah, I mean, if I get it, though. When you get it. Oh. Yeah, hopefully, when I get it, I'll be able to see her a job that will give you any car you want, alright? Any Tesla model. Terry, what calls me? I mean, it's good that you think about the logistics of the future. That's what you do. No matter what you do, as long as you're happy, Sophie and I will be happy. We don't want to sin. cannot buy happiness. But it's better to dream in a Tesla than a Honda Civic. Oh, Shijian Dala. Don't forget to bring the plates to the trash after dinner. Come on. Hey, Terry, so what's going to make you happier? This internship or film? Sophia, I haven't even gotten this internship yet. Come on, there's no way you're not going to get in. With your grades, your extracurriculars, your job experience. But I don't want to be too optimistic about this, okay? 
Or because what if? What if what? What what if I'm just setting myself up to be disappointed? Or are you just scared that if you don't get this internship, you'll actually have a chance to do what you love? Sophia. Come on, like you deserve to be happy. We all know that. Stop, okay? Stop. If I get this internship, I'm literally set for life, and it'll get me a stable and a stable job. Okay, but that stability is what makes me the happiest. Okay, so please, let's drop this. Fine. So, do you not have to study? Did you just call me so? Oh, um, I don't know. I just thought I'd be cute. So, shouldn't you be studying? Yeah, probably. Hey, what's wrong? Do you want to talk about it? It's not really about me. It's more about my brother Terry. What happened with him? Okay, so. He's graduating this fall, and he applied for this internship at Goldman Sachs. If he gets it, it'll be amazing because he's pretty much guaranteed a job, but I know my brother. I know he loves to more than anything else in the world. And if he settles for business, he's going to hate himself forever. Growing up, my brother and I both tried to help with our side jobs, but our dad wanted us to focus more on our education. It would help our family a lot if he got this job, but I want him to do what makes him happy. He says he's going to be the happiest one he could provide for our family, but he's not even giving himself a chance to do what he loves. Hey, I know that you care about him and you want him to do what makes him happy, but what if being able to support his family is what makes him happy? I just, I don't want to step on any toes, but it just sounds like the stability of your family is what's going to make him happy, so why don't you believe him? Just because we're happy doesn't mean we'll be happy. I'm just... I'm just saying that your happiness is what makes him happy. Does that make sense? Yeah, but his happiness shouldn't depend on other people. His happiness should depend on himself. That's not how everyone is. You might be like that, but it doesn't seem like Terry's is. <laughs> Are you like that? What? Does your happiness depend on other people? Why are you turning this on me? Ames, let's be real. You're like that too, huh? You're happy when other people are happy. Yeah, so what if I am? Is that a bad thing? No, no it's not. That's why I like you. You care so much about other people, but sometimes you forget about yourself and it's honestly really hard to watch. Wait, you like me? No, no, not, that's not the point. The point is, you and my brother are too afraid to pursue what truly makes you happy. He's too afraid to pursue film, and you're too afraid to pursue... Never mind. Too scared of what? Nothing. Sophia, just tell me. Nothing. I was... I was about to talk about Terry. Finish that sentence. Nothing. You're not too afraid to do anything. You're an independent woman who knows exactly what she wants out of life. Sophia! Ames, I really didn't mean to say anything. Just tell me right now. What, what am I too scared to do? Come on, Ames. You know what I'm talking about. You don't really like Kevin, do you? Excuse me? Come on, your relationship with him is so superficial. You spend more time with me than you do with him. When we're together, you never respond to him. When, when you're with him, you never show any PDA. You don't have any photos with him on your Instagram. When you're with him, you're still talking to me. Stop. Ames, stop lying to yourself. You don't love him. He doesn't make you happy. Like, can you really see yourself spending the rest of your life with him? Having kids with him? Growing old with him? Stop. Does he even make you feel like home? Stop! Why, why does this even matter to you? Because I really care about you and I want you to be happy. That doesn't give you the right to tell me what does or doesn't make you happy. I'm sorry. It's just hard for me to watch you lie to yourself. You don't know me like that. I'm not lying to myself. I know who I love. I love my boyfriend. I love Kevin. And that's the truth. I just don't understand where you get off telling me that I'm lying to myself. Ames. Ames.
go here as fast as I could. What's wrong? Charlie, I was just talking to Sophia about Kevin. Okay, and? She said I didn't love Kevin. Ames, why'd she say that? Okay, well, she was talking about how her brother first and how he's doing econ when he wants to do film. And then she was talking about how she just wants the people she cares about to be happy. And then she started talking about me and how I don't love Kevin. Oh, Ames. I don't know, Charlie. I don't know what to do. I keep thinking about it. I just can't, I can't stop thinking about it. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Ames, I love you, and I'm always going to be here for you. I know that sounds super cheesy, but I think you should follow your heart. Do you really love Kevin? Honestly, I don't know. We've been together for almost a year, and I thought I could see myself in my life with him. But I don't know. It just feels so fake. Charlie, when you were studying abroad and I was back home, I just, I didn't really feel like I was living. I just felt like I was existing in this bubble that me and Kevin lived in. I don't know, I, I know he loves me and that he wants to spend the rest of his life with me, but... James, I'm here for you, so whatever you choose to do, however you feel, I'm always going to be here for you, okay? Charlie, I think... No, and now I have to break up with him. Okay, get it, bestie. You know, I support her, Ames. Like, sheesh, the anime may be hot, but, you know, he's also super boring. I mean, if he's not with you, he's at home watching YouTube videos and, you know, playing with monkeys. <clears throat> That's true. I mean, now, the more I think about it, I feel like I should have done it a lot sooner. Yeah. Feels like talking to Sophia is what really helped you come to this decision. Ames, you didn't do this for Sophia, did you? I mean, you two have been spending a lot of time together, and honestly, you two act more like a couple than you and Kevin do. Honestly, Charlie, I just... I don't know. I... Just don't tell anyone yet. I, I don't know. Do you... Do you love Sophia? I've never thought about it like that. I don't know, Charlie. Okay, come here. It's okay to not know. I feel full of confusing things, and who you choose to be with is one of them. I don't know what you I know, bestie. I know. Why do you feel like exist? Because life sucks. Why can't I just be a potato? Because you're a human being who's going to do great things in life. Do I have to? Yes, you do. And one of those things involves breaking up with your boyfriend. Okay, I will. So, when are you going to do it? Um, I think tomorrow. We're supposed to be studying together, but... Yeah, you guys probably won't end up studying. Are you going to tell Sophia? I don't know. I think I'm just going to wait until everything's over. And then take some time out to sort out my own feelings. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And that sounds like a better idea. Another high five? Thank you. You're gonna do great, okay? Sorry. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Um, I think you need a Okay. This doesn't really sound good. What's wrong? You know that I care about you. Okay. And I love you, and I care about you a lot. But I don't think that we should be together. What, what do you mean? I don't think that I love you the way that I used to. And I have a lot of personal things that I need to work on, and I can't do that while being with you. Amy, where is this coming from? You literally just told me you loved me two days ago. Because I still love you, just not romantically. I want us to be friends, and I want you in my life. Why are you doing this? Did someone put you up to it? No, no one put me up to this. I'm I'm doing this for myself. No one's pressuring me to do it. You're lying to me. We were happy. We were fine. Why would you want to ruin any of that? Yeah, we were happy, but there's different kinds of happiness, and you made me happy. Are you being serious? 
I saw us spending the rest of our lives together, growing old, having a family. Yes, and I saw, I saw that at one point too, but I don't anymore, and I'm sorry. It's Sophia, isn't it? Excuse me? No, and I don't see what part she has in this conversation. You've been spending a lot of time with her, and I see the way that you look at your phone when she texts you. Kevin, stop. Are you breaking up with me because of Sophia? I'm not breaking up with you because of Sophia. Stop lying to my face! I know you are! Kevin, I know you're being really irrational right now because you're emotional, and you're saying things that you don't mean, and I understand. Look me in the eyes and tell me that you're not breaking up with me because of Sophia. I'm not breaking up with you because of Sophia. Stop lying to me! I see the way that you look at her. The way that I look at her and the way that I look at my text doesn't mean that I'm breaking up with you because of her. She's my friend. Just a friend. Just like you are now. I'm leaving. Wait, Kevin, stop. I'm done! Have fun with your new girlfriend. Kevin, please, I don't want to stand like this. I hope you and Sophia are happy the way that you want to be happy. Go to hell, Amy. Jesus! God! Can you please knock? Has student sex come back to you yet? No, and it's only been a few days since you last asked. I'm starting to feel like you actually want me to get this internship. Do you want this internship? Yes, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Because I know you love film more. Yeah, but that's a different kind of love. You, you won't be happy doing your internship. I, I just know it. You can't tell me what's going to make me happy, Sophia. Like I said before, being able to provide for our future family is what's going to make me the happiest. You're sacrificing your happiness for us. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm sacrificing myself for my family. I'm just saying, my happiness has priorities, okay? Eating ice cream, laying on the bed all day, that makes me happy, but I'm not gonna go do that. You know, yeah, you're right. Film makes me happy. But, but we live in a world where happiness isn't enough. And, and it's not like I'm choosing a path where I'm gonna be unhappy. It's just, you just gotta understand, this econ is a part of me just as much as film is. Hey, so, what's wrong? Come here. Come on, stop. Huh? What? What happened? I got on a slight spat with Amy yesterday and I may have accused her of not actually loving her boyfriend. Are you serious? Yeah. She walked out on me. I may have also confessed how I felt about her. Well, what did she say? Well, that got overshadowed by the she doesn't really love her boyfriend kind of thing. I may have nudged her to come out. Sophia. But Terry, I really like her. And I could have sworn she liked me too. But Sophia, Amy hasn't come out yet. I know, I know. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I'm the type of person who would pressure someone to come out. I wasn't thinking. Well, when did this happen? Yesterday. She hasn't messaged me or texted me back since. I can't believe I did that. Coming out was such a personal thing where I gotta choose when and where and how to do it. I'm so lucky that you and Ma and Ma all accepted me. What if, what if she's great? What if she is? And I assumed because, because... Because you love her. Yeah. I love someone who will never love me back. I'm gonna go get some air. I'll be back.
Can you don't recruit me? Why don't you use these photos to kill my? These are all old photos. Oh. The only recent one here is our high school graduation photo. Ah, uh, Terry. What's it up? You sure? You just got other photos that that we wanted to use instead. But she was six in that photo. She literally quit piano the day after that competition. Why'd you still use it? Denda. That is a good ball for Terry. But she hated piano. Like why can't why couldn't you use I don't know the one time she ran the half marathon or met Sam Minaj. Like literally anything. Terry, for Swalgua. You know exactly why we aren't using those photos. I don't want relatives to be asking questions like that right now. Okay, but they're not gonna know what the rainbow flag is. Like that small pride pin on her shirt, no one's gonna see that. There's gonna think she likes a whole bunch of colors or something. Ah man did out. Your aunties are that oblivious. They know what it means. And if you use any of the photos with us hard, might bring up politics and we don't want any of that. Hayo, the last thing we wanted to do right now is for the relatives to ask the basic questions. Okay. But a whole of this, all this, it isn't for them. It's for Sophia. No. The last thing we wanted to do right now for Sophie's funeral is for people questioning about who she was, asking us questions and focus on aspects of her that don't matter in this moment. Are you fine, Ma? Okay. Ma. Why don't you get some fresh air and let me handle the rest. How much? Shame Sophia was so young. How old was she again? She was 19, but she had so much potential. She was real smart too. Political science major. She had a lot of guts going to that major as a woman. It would have been hard for her to find a man. Can you imagine being the husband of a female politician? Wait. How did again? It was a hit and run, but I don't think they ever found out who did it. What a shame. Look at that photo. What a beautiful, talented young woman. That was her in uh, elementary school for a piano competition. She got second that year. Truly a shame. Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry no. Wait, are you, are you Amy? Yeah, how do you know? Uh, Sophia showed me pictures of you before I'm Terry, her older brother. Oh, it's nice, it's nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. Good things, I hope? Yeah. Oh, thanks for coming out. I know you two are pretty close. She, she quit the day after that competition. Ah, uh, Terry, how are you holding up? Um, 
I'm doing okay so far. Good luck. Take good care of this. You need some washing. My girlfriend's Oh no, that's she's not my girlfriend. She's Sophia's. Yeah, I'm Sophia's. Mm. Nice to meet you. Well, uh, take good care of this. I'll talk to your father. Hey, do you you want to get out of here, and get drinks or something? I don't think I can be here anymore. I don't. I don't think this is for Sophia. Anymore. Hey, sorry. Uh, I know you just met, but I don't think I can spend a single second in there. Yeah, I'm okay. You're fine. I feel like I already kind of know you since Sophia talked about you so much. Really? I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, I know she definitely wants you to be so. Ah, uh, of course she said that. She's. She just wants people to do what they love and what makes them happy. She doesn't really want to be realistic. <laughs> I can see that. But honestly, that's what I love about her. She didn't care about what people thought of her. Yeah. She has something else. It just feels kind of weird not having her here. Yeah, that's, that's why I just hated being in that funeral. You know, you know, it just shouldn't be about someone passing away. It should be about a celebration of life. The people they the, the impact they put on people, and it just wasn't that. My parents put up old and generic photos that didn't portray her accurately at all, and she was hated. Uh, I could sort of tell. It just didn't seem like this. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it felt like just a showcase for a relative rather than for Sophia. And she, they, they hid away all the photos I could have hinted that she was a lesbian, but they didn't. They didn't put it out. And my parents loved her for who she was and what she, who she loved. But I guess my parents, my, my relatives didn't try to care. What if we held another memorial service for him? What? Okay, hear me out. It's going to be a little while, but just hear me out. What if we held a small gathering with just her close friends and family that actually celebrated who she was? We could put together videos, order all her favorite foods, and then tell the great our favorite story. That kind of sounds insane. That means it would be any more perfect treatment for something. That's true. I mean... I could afford it at my place after all my relatives believed in us. She was always pushing us to be who we wanted to be, so it's only fair if we give her the send off that reflected who she was. She feels really lucky to have me. Thanks for being here. My favorite. Sophia was really special to me. Oh, that's my dad calling. He's probably wondering where I am here. Please take. Number and uh, call, text me. Uh, thank you. Guys. Yeah, hi. H how are you? Um, I mean... Sorry, just felt natural to ask. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, are you really willing to help plan a memorial service for Sophia? I think I'm more than willing to help. I just I didn't know her for very long, but she really meant a lot to me. Oh, how long, how long did you know each other? Okay, it's a little embarrassing. Wait, for you or for Sophia? Definitely not Sophia. She thought it was hilarious. I was at Share Tomorrow Cup Degrees with my best friend Charlie at the beginning of the quarter. And we both thought she was really cute. But I had a boyfriend at the time. At the time? Oh. Yeah, we broke up a few weeks ago. And I needed to tell her. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Sophia was telling me that you were <laughs> she, dumb. Of course, of course she did. She was telling me about your dilemma of pursuing film or your major. Yeah, she had very strong feelings about that. If you're still pursuing while getting internships, don't you think that means something? <laughs> okay, but um, I'm still very unsure about the internships. Well, what do you like about them? What keeps you from dropping it? I think being able to showcase myself, my culture and my experiences in film can be really inspiring because everyone can kind of relate to it in some sort of way and encourage them to reflect upon themselves and their own experiences. I think that's just, that's just so, that's just kind of powerful, you know? Yeah, I, I kind of get it. And it seems like Asian and Asian Americans don't really have an outlet to share their stories. Exactly. I can sense some parts of Sophia in you when you talk about them. Maybe that's why she wanted me to do it so much. She's a token advocate for people to follow their dreams and be who they are. <laughs> yeah. I want her memorial service to reflect that, really. Who she really was. When do you think we should hold it? Are you going to invite any relatives? Probably not. Maybe this can just be for her close friends. I, I should tell should I tell I should tell my dad. And and for a time maybe we can do a few weeks from now. Does July fifth work? I'm pretty sure your school's gonna be out by then. So it should work with everyone's schedule. Okay, um so wanna set up a schedule so we can plan? Yeah, let me just pull up my calendar. Okay. Hey Michael. Hey Terry. It's been a while. How have you been holding up? I've been better. Sorry to hear about your sister. If you need anything, please don't be afraid to let me know. I'm here for you and your family. Thanks. I'll be sure to tell my dad that. How's your spring project going? The deadline's coming up soon. Oh, um, yeah. It's it's coming along. Um, it's kind of weird. I feel like I have to put my all in, even even more so now, because it's not just for me. It's for Sophia too. From what you've told me, I'm sure she's glad to just have given you some inspiration. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. Oh. Before I forget, I had something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'll don't worry. I'll I'll be I'll be sure to turn that project on time. Oh no, it's not about the project. Take your time. I have an internship offering for you. Wait, internship for for what for who? Well, I'm working together with A24 on a new summer program for young adults who are interested <clears throat> in film. We'll be teaching them basic film production, distribution, and train them to have an eye for detail. I was wondering if you'd like to come work on a program with me. A24, like, men, as in Minari, Lady Bird, and The Farewell? Yeah. I'm not sure what you have planned, for summer yet, but I'd love for you to come work along with me. Uh, no, yeah, I'm, I know I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm in. It's, it's just, you know, that summer internship I applied for. Yeah, um, Goldman Sachs still has to get back to me on that. Mm, sounds like the same dilemma you've been having for a while now. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Michael, um, if you don't mind me asking, how, how did you know? For sure, like for sure, for sure. How did you know for sure you wanted to pursue filmmaking? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, I wanna tell stories that reach out to people. I want to be able to change the culture through a medium that allows me to do so. The thing is, 
part of me understands that there's a practical aspect of life where you have to make money in order to just survive. But I've realized that my happiness can be an individualistic thing and not a collective, like most Asian cultures are like. And I think that should be okay. <laughs> Look, I understand where you are. I understand the internal conflict you're having with yourself. One thing that I do that I think helps is I just imagine myself talking to my grandkids in like 20 or so odd years when I tell them about my life and the decisions I've made. Do I tell them with resentment or with pride? Wow. Wow, that's a that is, that's a really good way of thinking about it. Well, I hope that might help you with your decision or whichever internship you decide to take. Whatever path you follow, I will support you. But make sure you have no regrets. Now, let's see where you are on that spring project. Ames, how have you been? I can't imagine what you're going through. <coughs> Has Planet Moyo with Terry been helping, or...? I mean, I guess it's been helping. We're just doing the best that we can, and that's all we can do. Are you free on the 5th? Do you think you could come to the memorial? Of course, bestie, I'll be there. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I mean, it's relatively small because it's just a lot of Sophia's close friends and Terry's gonna handle all of the contact information because he has the contact information. And I think he's also putting together a video for her. And then... We're also planning to have everyone speak about Sophia and their time with her. But I don't know what to say, Charlie. They've all known her for years. And I've known her for two quarters. So just because you've known her for a short amount of time doesn't mean you didn't care about her. But how realistic is this? I mean, her friends should be planning this, but does it make sense that I want to? She was important to you, and you would do things for others that they care about. Charlie, my mom's been asking questions. About? Who I'm doing it for. Well, you're doing this for a friend, right? That's what I said. And she's been questioning everything that I'm doing, and she's... Even when I was still with Kevin, and I hung out with Soap, and she came over, she's always been so nosy about it, and now she's, she's like questioning, she's just questioning what, who Sophia was to me. Hmm, is, is there any other reason you'd be doing this, aside from the fact that you care about her? I don't know, I, I know that I really cared about Kevin, and I liked him a lot, but... It felt different with Sophia. Just, I don't know, it felt right. Ames, I think, I think we both know that you wouldn't do this just, you wouldn't do all of this just for a friend. I know. No matter what, I'll be here for you. Mm. 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 Mm.
still working on the memorial service? Mm, yeah. So, who was she? Mom, I told you. She's someone important to me. What about Kevin? He hasn't come over in a while. We broke up. You broke up? Why would you break up? He's a nice guy. I just didn't see myself with him anymore. Did you see yourself with Sophia? Why are you asking this? Does it matter? Yes or no? No, we weren't. Okay, good. Is that all you have to say? Amy, I want grandkids, okay? Mom, well, I can still give you grandkids. What if, what if I wanted to be with her? What if I wanted to be with her and it's too late? Am I talking to you? No, I don't know. I, Mom, I really respect you, and during my childhood, you raised me to be truthful and honest. And I'm sorry if I disappointed you or let you down, but I have to be myself and be honest with myself. I. I think I love Sophia, and I'm young, and I'm stupid, and I probably don't know what love is, really, but I know that I've loved her more than I've loved any man. Thank you for being honest, but I don't understand it, and, and I don't want this in my house. You're not my daughter anymore. Mom, wait. Oh, Layla, okay? Just go. Go out, be free, do whatever you want. Mom, please. Oh, Layla, I want you out of this house by tonight. I'm not your mother, and you're certainly not my daughter. Dad, I got the email. The email from Goldman? Yeah. Oh. What's it say? Open it. Open it. Okay. Oh, oh, I got it. I got in. Oh my god. I I got I got in? Yes! I knew you would do oh it. Oh my god, I got in. Tesla. Oh my god, I got I got in! That's your eyes up! Sophia. Would be bow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she would be. She'd probably pretend like she wasn't surprised or anything, but say, oh, I knew you'd get in, but I know she'd be proud of me. Yeah. Oh, are you nervous about the memorial this weekend? Um, just just a little bit. Uh, Amy's been helping me a lot, so yeah, I'm okay. You didn't need to do this. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Thanks, sir. I'm glad you did. Do it. I know that the funeral was the best send out we could give her. I wish I could have done more. But just no, stop, okay? You did everything you could. I just just leave this up to me. She's a wise. Adela, do you know what industry you want to take? No, not yet. Wong Bai. Whatever you decide. I'm still proud of you and happy for you. Ciao, how much? Thanks, Bob. Be a good thing. Sensei, do you want some fruit? Yeah, let's get some fruit. You ready? Nope. Thanks for letting me stay over at your place the past couple of days. Amy, you don't have to thank me. You know I'm always here for you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Is she coming today? I don't think so. She doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. Maybe she just needs some time. I mean, you're a daughter, aren't you? Are you ready for your speech? No, I I couldn't even finalize anything. Nothing seemed too right. Everything's going to be perfect. As long as what you say comes from the heart, everyone will understand. I'll take the flowers. Go talk to Terry. Hey, how are you feeling? Nervous. 
don't really know why. You know everyone here? I know him. How's your dad doing now? He, he's forced out of here. Uh, how's your speech going? Um, it's going okay. I think I know what I'm going to say. Like, at least most of it. Oh, how about you? Mm, for the most part, pretty much sums it up. Hello everyone, thank you guys for coming today. We all know Sophia was an intention seeker. Whatever was happening, good or bad, we all know she would be at the center of it. Politics truly was a good fit for her. I just got accepted into two of my dream internships and we can't even celebrate it. You really had to take this from me, huh? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know which internship I want to take. But I'll let you guys know that Sophia had her own ideas about which path I should take. She was adamant about me following my dreams and doing what, what makes me happy. And that sentiment Doing what makes you happy is something she lived by. And I'm sure that's a message she tried to spread to everyone here. Uh, that's how I want to remember her as. As a headstrong, stubborn person, not afraid to chase after her passion. Not afraid to be herself. I miss you. My name is Amy and Sophia meant a lot to me. I've barely known Sophia for a year, but the impact that she's had on my life can't be reversed. Sophia was in a lot of people's lives and she says it's because she cared a lot about her friends. She was just nosy as hell. <laughs> the unexpected is scary, but Sophia charged head on into life with her heart leading the way. She always made sure to stay true to herself, and I was in a hollow place. I didn't know who I was or what I was doing, but Sophia, Sophia helped me realize that I shouldn't be afraid to be myself. She encouraged me to challenge myself, but most importantly, she opened my eyes to how good it feels to embrace the unknown and not to fear it, and to trust myself. I know she's still with me. She made sure her spirit's gonna stay in all of our lives forever. <laughs> her voice is always gonna be annoying me in the back of my head, telling me to get out of bed and take in each day as it comes, and to extend my car warranty. You okay? Can we talk? understand your way of life, I still want you to be in my life. In Hong Kong, gay people are seen as a bad influence and I just want you to have an easy life, okay? I don't want you to be hated, I don't want you to be attacked, I just want you to live an easy and simple life with kids or whatever you want to do, but I just... Hi, so you on the back. Hi, you're my only daughter and I, I can't just kick you out like that. So, I, I don't know if it's the way I raised you, I don't know if it's an American thing. 
to be honest, I don't even know if I'll ever really understand, but what I know is that I, I love you and I'm sorry. Wait, Grandpa, which internship did you end up choosing? I ended up choosing Goldman. Where do you think our family Tesla came from? Do you ever regret not choosing the other one? I don't think regret's the right word. I mean, if I never took the internship at Goldman, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I might not have even met your grandma if I went to A24. Did you ever make any films? I made some films for fun. I made all those home videos you guys enjoy so much. Seems like you're pretty satisfied with what you picked, Grandpa. Yeah, of course I am. I made the best decision for the life I wanted. And just because I chose business doesn't mean I stopped doing film. Nothing's out of reach, if you put your mind to it. Oh, I think I smell Grandma's cookies. Not for more. Did you ever come out to your mom? Mm, about one or two years after Sophia's memorial. But your great grandma definitely knew before that. Was she really okay with it? I think that she eventually understood that there was nothing that I could do to change who I was. She took the same amount of time that I did to finally accept and understand who I am. And it was really difficult, but I'm happy with where I am now. Mm, as long as you live life to its fullest, that's all that matters. Now. Help your wife pull back inside. She's ready for her nap. Hey, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I was pretty good duty to be company. So, you come here often? No, this is my first time. <laughs> really? Did you go here by yourself? You're funny. You're funny. Okay, so this is gonna sound pretty straightforward, but can I get your number? What if I said no? I'm pretty sure you're gonna say yes. Girls just like I like my honey, sweet little selfie.